Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Lori and this is day two of our trip to Dublin and Belfast and Limerick. Okay in Limerick we're gonna spend two days there because it was probably something that I was like I literally felt like I was a princess and or a Kardashian. It was amazing but Dublin was spectacular. So I want to talk to you a little bit about Dublin some things that you can see there. So again we were there on a uh, we had ever all these excursions planned right they did all of that for us so I'm going to tell you where I would always recommend that you spend a little bit more time in or maybe you don't need as much time in places. Dublin's amazing. So in Dublin they do use the euro Okay, in Dublin, not all of Ireland. In some of Ireland, they use the pounds. But in Dublin, they use euros. So we stayed at the Westbury. I was a little bummed to find out later on that Channing Tatum had been there for an entire month. A month. Oh, you would have known if your girl saw Channing Tatum. I would probably be in jail there. You know, it is what it is. Um, but it was, it's a beautiful hotel. So the hotel itself, um, they offer breakfast there and it's amazing. The rooms there are very European, okay? So different, different parts of L uh, London, well that too, but different parts of Ireland are going to offer you different things. Dublin is such a great place. Um, there's a lot of good history there and amazingly enough, there is, there's a spot there for Boston College. Yeah, there's like, so when we went on this tour to Wicklow, which I'm going to talk to you about here, um, but when we went on the tour to Wicklow, on the way back, they said, you see this building, beautiful building with like ivy all over it. And on there, it says Boston College. So they actually have for like, when you, um, if you go, um, what's the travel abroad kind of thing for your school, that's where you would stay right there in Dublin. It's a beautiful, spectacular place. So while we were in Dublin, the food is really good. The food there is spectacular. We had this um, they had, we had fish and chips, of course. We had, of course, Guinness. There's a drink there. I don't even like whiskey, so I thought. Jameson is big there, right? So they, the, when we checked in, they said, hey, here's your whiskey drink. And I was like, I don't know if I, look. I, don't know if I want this. Um, yes, I wanted that. So it was Jameson <clears throat> whiskey with ginger ale. <clears throat> Sorry, Jameson uh, whiskey with ginger ale and lime perfect by the pool drink. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm telling you, all of the people, all especially the ladies, all of the ladies I talked to was like, we don't even like whiskey, but this is our new drink. Like it's so good and it's just light and refreshing. Um, and then they gave us the Guinness as well too, which is a stout. Lots of desserts, lots of foods. Um, big food there is bangers and mash. I don't eat red meat, meat or pork, so um, I heard it was fantastic. I do know that the mashed potatoes were good. Uh, fish and chips was spectacular. Even though it's a London thing, it's still primo. Uh, very good gelato. If you love gelato, you're going to want to go there for gelato. I know it's not Italy, but it's spectacular. Oh, that's another thing about living overseas. I feel like it's so close to everything. Because, like, you could be in Spain in two hours. You could be in London in 45 minutes to an hour. You can be, like, I feel like they are better located. Like, in, L in Europe, I feel like you guys are way better located for fun travel that isn't expensive. You can take a train, you can take a plane, you can do all these things. Here, we have to take like a 74 hour flight somewhere, right? Other than if I'm going to Canada, which is spectacular, you know, I love Canada, or if you're gonna go down to like uh, South America or something. But I feel like if you're in Dublin, you wanna extend this trip as well. It, like if you're gonna go to Ireland, my recommendation on this would be try to make it like a two week trip go different places. You can go to Italy or go to Spain or take a train somewhere, hop over to London because you can do it inexpensively. Like you really can do it inexpensively because you're right there. It'd be like me going from here to Myrtle Beach. What is it like $100 round trip? No, not a round trip. It's like $199 before taxes round trip. Like you can totally do this. So <clears throat> um, while we were there, we went to a place called Wicklow. Wicklow is a little town and I'm going to show you some footage here. Um, we visited this place called Powers Court. You're going to want a full day there. We did not have a full day. You'll want a full day there because apparently uh, from where this little uh, castle looking thing is, which used to be somebody's house, is now like um, little shops and restaurants and it's beautiful. It's very medieval, medieval tiny, right? I loved it. But it's so beautiful there and apparently an hour and a half walk, like, you know, through the 
forest, you get to this beautiful waterfall, but we didn't get an opportunity to do that because we were on time limit because they took us to the best place that I had lunch in Dublin or outside of Dublin. And, um, but it's beautiful. It's ranked number three in the world by National Geographic as far as botanical gardens, and it did not disappoint. So I want to show you some pictures here and give you some little, little footage here on this is, uh, the, the, property itself is amazing. Could you imagine this being your house? I'd be like, do you guys want to go over for a spot of tea out here in the gardens? Um, it's really beautiful. And like I said, it used to be someone's home uh, and now they just have it as a, a place to tour and it has been used in a lot of different things. I felt very Bridgerton here. Like I was like the carriage, pull the carriage around. Like I felt very awesome here. And the trees, you know, I love trees. If you don't know now, you know, Trees are one of my favorite things on the planet. They just, they're, they're connecting, they're grounding, they're all these things. Look at that. Look at that. I did this picture and look at this little video I took. It's amazing. Yes, I'm blowing a lot of these up, a lot of these up. So it's called Powers Court and you literally could spend an entire day here. So if you get an opportunity, Wicklow is about an hour and a half away, maybe an hour, yeah, an hour and a half or so, two hours away um, from Dublin on a coach, on a, one of those big coaches, because it wasn't just us going. You can do it probably faster. Note to self. Let me show you this. See these gates right here? So skinny. The roads there are really tiny. Okay. There's multiple times I was like, if I'm driving here, I'm taking people out. I'm taking walls out. I'm driving, already driving on the wrong side of the road, which is originally the right side of the road. So technically we drive on the wrong side of the road here. It's beautiful. Okay. So at Powers Court, there's so much there that you can really, like if you were going to go there and ground out and be, this is where I stayed connected. Me and Casey found this tree. I'm not lying to you. It was such a connection. You guys have so much free anti-anxiety things around you. The nature, it's there for you. You've got to allow yourself, you don't have to go to Ireland to do it, but you have to allow yourself to put your feet in the ground. You have to allow yourself to wrap yourself around a tree get grounded, breathe, release what no longer serves you. This was the place to do it, but you can do it anywhere in the world, anywhere. You don't have to take a fancy trip. You can literally walk out your front door, but you want to be able to do that because it was amazing. From there, we went to this place. If you get an opportunity, it's in Dublin County, right? So it's coming back in from Wicklow into Dublin called Johnny Foxes. It's circa 1796. It, I'm sure, I don't know what it was, but boy, when you go in there, you can tell how old it is. They had such amazing food. I had a lentil stew and I had this amazing chocolate dessert. They believe in dessert there, liquor there, and no one's in a hurry. So you're not, if you're in a hurry and if you're coming from America and you want to eat fast and boogie out, that's not the place to go. Anywhere in Dublin is, or Ireland in general is not the place to go. Nothing is fast. So you need to know that if you're going to go there and you're in a hurry, that's not this place for you to go because everything is an event. And I think it's like that pretty much in a lot of Europe, correct me if I'm wrong, my European lovely, beautiful friends. Um, but it's more of an event. It, people really, uh, they're satisfied with their food. It's, it's kind of, you learn a lot because nobody's in a hurry like we are here in the U.S. Or at least I should say in Maryland, maybe not all of the U.S. And, you know, it's, it, it's, it's very humbling to be like, Oh, that's right. Okay. So I can be here at lunch for two hours. Like nothing's in a hurry. Now I was also on holiday, right? Vacation, holiday, not European. Um, but in general, they're not in a hurry. I mean, yeah, you can go get fast food like somewhere, but I didn't see a ton of fast food, at least where we were, but I know it exists. Um, but yeah, so that was beautiful. And then we came back to Dublin and then later on that evening, um, we did the best thing ever. We had dinner in Christ Church Cathedral. I'm going to show you some footage here. I'm not lying to you. It was amazing. We had drinks in the crypt downstairs in the crypt where Tom and Jerry are. Tom is a cat that's called the cat and the rat. And it's an actual mummified cat and an actual mummified rat that back in the day when the organs, you know, those big organs, I guess the cat went after the rat and they got stuck in the organ pipes. Well, when they were, rest, uh, you know, like not restoring it, but like getting rid of it or whatever, they found this. So they kept this, this mummified cat and rat and they played music and then we had drinks and then we went upstairs, which by the way, apparently like having drinks down in the crypt is like for elite special people. Well, that was us. 
It was amazing. And we did lots of that, lots of that. They made sure of that. We went upstairs and I want to show you um, some of the songs that were played. And I'm not going to go through it all, but I want you to see this here. It was amazing. Look at the beauty of it. Look how spectacular it is. You're probably not going to be able to eat dinner there, but you want to visit Christ Church of Dublin. And you're going to pass St. Patrick's before you get there. The churches there are beautiful. They're spectacular. Um, and then later on, we came back to the hotel. Those are some things that you want to do outside of Dublin. Visit Christ Church. Visit St. Patrick's Cathedral. Um, definitely visit Wicklow and you want to go to Johnny Fox's. Those were all kind of that, like that day. Uh, and it was amazing. Now the second day we were still in Dublin, but we took up to Belfast. That was very like heavy. So let's talk about that next video.